Hey, good morning, everybody. It's a big day today. We've had a couple things going on uh, the last couple days. So after we poured the slab, we wanted to get this brush pile burnt that we had piled up right here. Huge brush pile. And uh, we needed to burn that before the guys started framing and before waterproofing started going on. And so we got that done. The weather's been perfect. And this morning, we have framers. So we are super excited. Um, we averted a disaster yesterday for our floor truss design. So our finished ceiling height in our basement is supposed to be nine feet. And on the front side of our house, we're doing what's called a top cord bearing floor truss, which basically means the top, the top, our floor trusses are 24 inches thick. And so the top, section of the floor truss actually sits on the block wall in the you know 18 15 inches whatever you specify hangs down basically inside your basement and so our plans call for nine foot ceilings in our basement but the way our floor truss designers had drawn it up and put it all together the ceiling heights in our basement were going to end up being only eight feet Reason that would have been a problem is, is our garage door in our basement is 14 feet wide, eight feet tall. And we've already ordered our garage doors and we've already paid for them. So that would have been a huge problem because our garage door that's eight feet tall wouldn't have fit because you have to have room for your motor and your track and all that. So you need about 10, 12 inches of ceiling height above your garage door for your, uh, your garage door motor and your track and all that good stuff, so. But anyway, we got that figured out. We got our floor truss redesigned back this morning. Um, so literally less than 24 hours, that was great. Um, and here we go, the guys are started. First wall will be going up today. So there it is, the first wall. This will be two windows that they're framing out here for. You got the headers up there and the two windows, so looking awesome. So something to see right here, they have laid out all the windows, the doors, everything is laid out and marked on the concrete. It's right there, not sure if you can read it. That's a 74 by 98 inch door right there. 64 by 60 window. That way they can make sure that Everything's where it needs to be and they know what's going on. So we got a lot going on today. As you can see, the framers are going hard. Uh, the waterproofing guys just showed up, so I'm going to take you around and show you a little bit about uh, what they got going on and how that works and all that good stuff. So this is our waterproofing setup. Hope you guys can hear me with the generator going. I'll come in close. But... So in that 50, the 50 gallon drums is a material they call rubber wall. You see 
see the power cord hooked up to the bottom of that one drum, they're actually heating the material up so they can spray it. What I like about this material is it's seamless. So as you put it on a liquid application, there are no seams to leak because most of your problems, your failure points are in any waterproofing, whether it be roofing, basement waterproofing, whatever, your failure points are typically your seams. And so that's what I really like about this product. It's called Rubber Wall. It's gonna go on and be green. But right now, the guys are trying to get the uh, footers dry and the bottom of the wall dry. They got some fans down there going and they're hammer drilling out a little bit of concrete. Um, but yeah, so that's what we got going on. They're gonna warm, uh, warm up the material so it'll liquefy more so they can spray it. And then we'll be good to go and spray these walls. So I just want to check back in, show y'all what the waterproofing guys have going on. So with the moisture in the air, we've had rain the last couple days. The block and the footers have to be very dry for the rubber wall to adhere to it and get a proper seal. So you see down here, they're drying the footer, finished cleaning it up. Get it to where it's a suitable surface to, to apply the waterproofing to. You can see down there around the groundhog hole, the sleeve we put in. They had to hammer drill that concrete out and get a good surface so they could, uh, same thing on this side. So they can apply the membrane to. So they're working on that, cleaning up the footers drying it, getting ready. So we're hoping in the next hour, hour and a half, we can spray this thing. Um, because really the next week, it's just rain in the forecast. So this is a, the best day we've got in the foreseeable future to get this done. So they're working hard to make it happen so we get this thing waterproof today uh, so that we don't get mud washing back in and all that and have to clean the footers again. So uh, we don't want to wait and let it you know, come another big rain or two, and then we'll have to do, start the process all over again. So our first bathtub just showed up for our downstairs bath. So it's important to get these in your bath, get them in before all your walls go up because the bathtubs are so big that they won't fit through the doors. So we're gonna get that in today while the guys here are getting started framing and uh, we'll be in good shape. We have got a yard full of people today. This is what we like to see, some progress. Got our waterproofing guys here, our framing guys are here, and the plumbing delivery is here. Uh, so a lot going on today. We're excited.
After several hours of prep work and drying, the guys, the guys are getting ready to spray the rubber wall membrane. So I'll uh, try to shoot some of that and show you guys kind of what it's like. But uh, it's pretty cool. I've never seen it, but it's pretty cool. So we'll see it for the first time together.
So this is the waterproofing membrane, the rubber wall that we did. Really excited about this stuff. I think it's a really good product. So this is our garage area. So they put this protective fabric on it. So whenever we backfill with 57 stone, um, it won't damage the membrane. And you can see all around through there. So this right here is where our front door is gonna be on the house, um, just for some perspective. And then let me jump up here and I'll show you what our framers got done. All right, so there's the basement, the garage in the basement, uh, the man door coming in the basement, windows. Most of the exterior walls they got up yesterday and the sheeting on it. Got that wall up, got this load bearing wall here up. Kind of see that wall there. Super uh, excited and thankful for the guys, all they got done yesterday. Um, the framers were here at about seven o'clock. The waterproofing guys were here at about seven o'clock because we knew it was supposed to rain today. And so we were just pushing hard, trying to get as much done as they could. So things will really start going quick. We hope in about a month, this thing will actually have a roof on it. So it's August 19th. Uh, we'll see how it goes the next couple weeks and uh, pray for good weather. And we will check back in with everybody uh, in the next couple days, give you an update what's going on.